Well, I'm standing in front of a great Ford boat tail speedster. This is Dan and Liz's creation. They both worked on this car and built it from scratch. Dan, tell me about this great speedster. Well, this is a 1930 chassis. Uh, everything's original. In fact, brand new original. We found uh, the chassis and all the running gear in the top of a garage that had been wrapped up in 1930 newspapers where a fellow was going to build a car for his wife but never got around to it. That was quite a find. Yeah. Uh, but we assembled that and actually drove the chassis in a couple of road rallies uh, sitting on fruit crates. <laughs> that was fun. Then we uh, decided that we wanted to put a speedster body on it, so we researched uh, the speedsters uh, uh, that had been put on Ford chassis. Because uh, you were telling me earlier, they were all one of a kind back then. You didn't buy a speedster, you made a speedster. That, that's correct. All speedsters are basically one of a kind uh, because they took the body and modified it in whatever shape the person thought would be uh, would be clever or, or sporty. And I heard, Liz, you had a part in this uh, design in this car. You and Dan had worked on your own modeling? Helped a little with the design and do a lot of the spit and polish. Well, that's a really important part when it comes to something this nice. So this is really a great looking car. What are some of the features on the car? Well, it has a, a, a teak dashboard. It has a cockpit uh, uh, that is lined with teak that we carved. And uh, it has uh, a Stromberg 81 downdraft carburetor. Otherwise, everything is stock. Still has the uh, mechanical brakes. It has mechanical friction uh, shocks that were era correct. The uh, windshields uh, came from a British Speedster. We found them in England. The tire cover on this side uh, was uh, from a 1930 Ford. It was an option back then and uh, an original one. It was kind of beat up when we got it, but we repaired it. The uh, gas tank cap is a one of a kind. We designed it, had it forged, and that's uh, the only one like it, uh, that brass gas cap. The well, that's really great. We're going to have to get a close-up of that. The uh, uh, exhaust pipe is uh, our design. We had that fabricated because we can't uh, weld that well. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys just don't design and build cars. You must drive this. You guys go everywhere in this car. We drive this, and we have uh, three others, uh, different kind of Model A's, but we do drive ours, absolutely. Well, great, Dan and Liz. I want to thank you for talking to me on live car shows today. This is a one-of-a-kind car, and that's why we come out to these car shows, to meet people like you and get great shots of cars like this. This car was featured in the 2008 or 2000, 2009 Palos Verdes Concours. Well, you know what? We didn't get to that show this year, but I'm sure you drew a crowd all day long with this beauty. Thank you. You bet. You bet. Thanks a lot, guys.